Well, good morning, everybody. What is it I'm doing with this bottle? What do you think it is? Well, I'll tell you what it is. I don't have a tuna can, and so I'm just going to cut the bottom off of this to use as a tuna can, uh, excuse me, to use as a container to help control some pests in the garden. So I've already cut most of it, and I didn't want you to watch me cut the whole time. Though. And so now I'm gonna now I'm gonna take this container and we're gonna go out and I'm gonna show you what we're gonna do with it. And this is to help control the some pill bugs, some mainly earwigs right now, because they are decimating. They are decimating some of my plants. And so I was telling people about that and I'm now going to show you exactly what I'm gonna do. And we're going to go over to that plant that is being decimated so you can see how easy this is and just the process. You can tell this plant is being decimated. Look at it. I mean, it's just these leaves look like they're just nets. Well, now they're starting to accept to also go after my sweet potato. And you can see the same the same problem. Well, I don't care so much about the flower, but I do have issue when it comes to tacking my veggies and stuff like that. So, so what you're going to do is I'm going to just dig a little hole here. And it's not really, for me, I've got all this mulch, so it's not really digging much of a hole at all. And I'm just going to set this down. So I want this ground level so that the pests can walk in it you know make it easier for them to get in because they won't be able to climb up the the plastic and so I'm just going to see how that's ground level I'm pushing this up so things can fall in it actually okay now the next step is to get some water just add some water there just a little bit of water Okay, now I go back in and I just make sure that that's pushed down. Just like that. Again, just so you can see there's a little bit of water in there. There's not a ton, but there is a little bit of water in there. And now the pests, as a, they will be attracted to that water instead of my plants. And so it's essentially... They, they're going after the green because they like the moisture a lot more moisture in healthy plants than there is in the the vegetation that they normally use i think because of this really hot weather that's why they're going after the plants is they just need that additional moisture well i'm going to help them out i'm going to give them some additional moisture unfortunately it'll be to the doom of them <laughs> but I'm, I'm not trying to again i'm not trying to eradicate pests I'm trying to create a symbiotic system with them. And if they start taking down everything that I'm working on, that's not a symbiotic system. And so I've got to find a better balance. Okay, so let's just go on. Now the next point, the next part I'm going to do, which I forgot to get, I need a little bit of soy sauce. And the reason why you want soy sauce is that it will help to deter some of your more beneficial pet, uh, insects like your bees and your predatory wasps and things like that. If you don't put it in, they'll go in there and they will get waterlogged. Get just regular old soy sauce. And now I'm going to take the soy sauce and I'm not going to put a ton in. It's, I mean, it really does help to attract the earwigs more. Uh, the the soy sauce but it like i said it it helps to deter your beneficial insects from getting trapped into this it's not a lot that i'm putting in it's mainly for me it's just the the smell i, I want to deter the other beneficial so if you see right there i'm just gonna put it one, two, three, yeah, maybe four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. 
about 10 drops. You can see kind of how it started to color the water. Not completely, but oh, there's, look at that. I don't know if you can see him there, the peel bug. Uh, but they'll be attracted to that now more than my pit, my potato, sweet potato, or my flowers. But I'm okay. This is, let me show you this really quick. This is important. Is because I had this flower planted, I recognized a problem much sooner than I would have over here. Because they would have started eating down low and, you know, really started decimating this plant to the point where it might not bounce back. I'm not worried about the flower. If it bounces back, great. If it doesn't, oh, I'm sorry. Thanks for contributing to the cause. But I don't fear about that even bouncing back. I'm pretty sure it's going to bounce back without any problem. So there's the trick that I'm for managing these pests. Soy sauce. <laughs> Soy sauce with the in the container with the, some water. That will attract them and then they will go to their doom. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. It is, what is it? It's Wednesday morning, and it's been a couple of days since I did the trap. The trap that would I showed you here for the earwigs and the pill bugs. And a lot of times people say, well, does your stuff really work? Let's see. <laughs> I want to show you this. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to come out here. Look at those. I mean, we're talking some big, big old ones. And not very many, <laughs> not very many, uh, not very many earwigs but man it sure worked for the pill bugs and maybe that's been my problem the whole time so i'm just gonna come over and donate these to the chickens and fill it back up and you guys get to enjoy this process watching them eat them up so now we'll just repeat the process i actually might get a bigger container because that was <laughs> <laughs> they filled that up really quick so i might get a bigger container put in there but it's the same process just fit, put in some water a little bit of soy sauce and you did you saw that there was not anything in there that was like a beneficial insect you didn't see any bees you didn't see any of that and so we'll just put that right back down there like that again and we're gonna come over and fill it up I wanted to show you guys proof in the pudding.